a hundred days to make their case, get a mandate and perhaps change a nation's fate. But the major parties fighting off newcomers as much as each other. The Sky News poll of polls shows Labour just ahead of the Conservatives, but the poll of Scottish polls show an entrenched surge in support for the SNP. Based on those figures, a projected hung parliament with Labour the largest party, short of an overall majority by 44 seats. The SNP could win 53 seats, meaning SNP Labour the only possible two-party majority coalition. Even with these projections, you can't predict who will actually be walking through that door in May. But you can say, surely, privately, Ed Miliband will be considering his options with the SNP. And that provides an opening for the Conservatives to threaten England with the notion of a tartan-backed coalition and economic chaos. The Prime Minister invited Sky News into the Cabinet room today. His message, as the Eurozone crisis resurfaces, don't risk Labour. We've had the recovery for over a year now and it still hasn't transferred into the polls for yourself. You must be worried that that well, this is I'm normal to Obviously, I'm worried about the future of our country if we end up with a, uh, an unstable left-wing government that starts to borrow and spend and wreck the economic progress that we've made. Of course I worry about that, but we have 100 days to go to make this argument. Today, new figures showed the recovery slowing to 0.5% growth in the last quarter, but still solid over the year. The Vauxhall van factory in Luton, a potent symbol for the economy, an extra shift added yesterday, new jobs built on pay cuts and freezes, so recovery and cost of living crisis in one production line. Yeah, well, five years ago we didn't know we were going to have a job, you know, and everyone was quite worried, uh, and now everyone's very excited. Ed Miliband campaigning today not on the economy but saving the NHS with a 10-year plan. Our country's most precious institution faces, I believe, its most perilous moment in a generation. And it is a choice of two futures, carrying on with a conservative plan which has already led to an NHS in crisis and threatens the service as we know it, or a Labour plan to rescue our NHS. Morning, everybody. Good morning. In the Lib Dem stronghold of Bermondsey, Nick Clegg out campaigning. We need to fight and fight very hard in every street, on every doorstep, to get our message across that we want to build a, both a stronger economy and a fairer society. And, and I think we were the only party that now offers that balance. How many seats are you focusing on? Are we well, talking like 30, 40? Oh, no, no, no. Many, many, more, many, more, many more than 50? that. Many more than that. We've got 56 MPs right. um, for, for, for starters. So with all the major parties facing a squeeze, even the deputy PM mucking in. It's all hands on deck. Faisal Islam, Sky News.